Good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Urexel First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church bringing a devotional today. Uh, but before I do that, just a slight correction from yesterday. Uh, one of my faithful listeners, Milana, thank you. She, she brought up that, that I gave the wrong scripture reference yesterday. I gave Jeremiah 29 11 and what I meant was Jeremiah 23 11. So I figured that for to, that for today, I will give the Jeremiah 29 11 reference that I made yesterday. So Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not evil to give you a future and a hope. And what a big amen to that verse. You know, it is not our job as Christians to know how tomorrow is going to turn out. It's not our job as Christians to plan out the future. That's in God's hands. And the Bible says that God knows those plans and he, ha and he has them in his hands. He, he only has plans of good for us. And the question is then, do you believe that? Now, whether we always agree with those plans, whether we think we know better, or whether, whether we know what those plans are, that's not what's important. What is important is, do you trust that he has only your best in store? Now, there is a misconception out there, and, and I've heard it more recently in today's church than in times past, where it says, oh, God wants me to be happy. God's plan for me is to be happy. Or we have those, those um, the, unfortunately, a lot of the prosperity gospel, the name it and claim it, is, as I say. You know, God wants me to have this, or God's plan is for me to have this. I will say that, 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 that we might not know the individual plans that God has for us. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes he reveals that to us. But I promise you that his ultimate goal for your life is not just happiness. It is not for you to just be happy. His ultimate goal for your life is for you to be holy. Holy. His plan for your life is holiness. And so my, my message for you today is to trust in the plans of God, to live according to those plans of God, and to strive for the holiness that he has called us to live, and to follow those plans, even if it means you're going to have to change some things about your life, and even if it means you're going to have to step on some toes. So know that God has only the best plans for you, and know that those plans are for your holiness and for your eternity with him. Amen.